Hey gang, how you doing? This is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com and I want to go through some common interview questions, the way you should answer them and the ways that you shouldn't. Let's get straight into it. Hey, how you doing? So, uh, how did you hear about us? Uh, how did I hear about y'all? Uh, around, here and there. Uh, I don't know, I just, you know, through the grapevine. So that's probably not how you want to answer that. You want to go along with something that's going to make you seem somewhat interested. For example, I've been following you guys for years and I jumped at the opportunity to join your team. I've been subscribed to you all's newsletter and it seems like you guys are working on a lot of exciting things. So on and so forth. So actually act like you're interested. Okay, so what skills or certifications do you have that will qualify you for this job? Well, first of all, I'm certified in the streets. Triple OG. Uh, you might want to check my record. Stop it. Get some help. So for this question, make sure that your skill set and the things that you're talking about reflect what's on your resume. Because the whole time you're talking, they're going to be looking down at your resume to make sure that what you're saying is what's actually on your actual resume, right? So if you're going for an IT job, you can say, well, I've got 10 years of experience. I'm certified in networking and security. Um, if you are going for an HR position, well, I was in HR with over 10,000 employees, so on and so forth. Okay, just but make sure, please make sure that whatever you're talking about is actually on your resume. Okay, how do you stay current with industry trends? I don't. So one big thing that some people overlook is industry trends. What have the trends been? Are things changing? Are things staying the same? Are things stagnant? So on and so forth. So to this question, you can say, well, I read certain articles. I'm subscribed to this YouTube channel. I'm reading up on this. I go to this type of training. You just want to make sure that you're abreast to new technologies, new standards, new innovations inside of your field, right? Um, and all these questions, all these answers, make sure that it's true, all right? If you're not doing that, uh, you know, don't lie, or because it's kind of uh, it's kind of easy for people to figure that out. But um, if you're a professional, you should, like I said, those should be easy things to say. Well, I follow you guys on Twitter and on LinkedIn. I'm actually uh, connected to John, the CEO of blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Okay. So, what does your day to day look like? Well, I show up to the office about nine thirty. Supposed to be there at nine. Uh, I stare at the wall until about. 11, 11.30, then I open up an email. I don't respond, but I open up an email. Uh, then I go to lunch. Then after lunch, everything is pretty much a blur. Now, this question can be a little tricky, right? Um, a lot of times you can bounce back a question to the interviewer and just say, well, what does the normal day look like here? And maybe I can, you know, compare my day to you guys day and then the guy or girl just go over okay we usually we have a meeting in the morning and then we work on projects from this time to that time okay because the whole thing is with this question you don't want to have a way bigger workload or a way less workload the way less workload is going to look even worse because it's going to be like well you know seem like he's used to doing 20 percent of you know what we do on a day-to-day -day basis so if I was in an interview, I would just kind of throw that back like, what does the day you know look like to you guys? And then nine times ten, if it's a position that you've already been working in, your position already is probably going to reflect that pretty much. So you can just say, well, you know, my day to day pretty much lines up exactly with you guys. There's a few a few little nuances here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Only difference is, and if there's a major difference, then just input that difference right there. Is there anything that you would change about our current team? Yes. I don't know what his name is, but the guy with the um, with the blue shirt, I think his name is Daryl. I would uh, I would get rid of Daryl, not because of his skill sets or uh, what he got going on or what he knows, or just because he's really ugly, like extremely ugly, like he's so ugly it's like becoming a distraction. So I would definitely get rid of ugly ass Daryl. For this question, I would always say no. You haven't even worked with the team yet. You don't even know the people. Even if you've been introduced to the team, just say no. You can say, well, since I haven't been working with the team yet, I can't intelligently say if I will make any changes. Now, if there are improvements I can make once I'm actually inside the team, I will bring that up to the team members, and as a consensus, we will figure out if that was a good idea or not. But if you just already 
nobody knows you already like this guy sucks or that girl sucks i would change this i would change that you just would you just would be doing too much and then even if you get hired um everybody works together talks to each other so you'd be like yeah that new guy that got hired he wasn't really feeling you too much so you might want it so just be careful you don't want to burn any bridges or step in on any toes before you even get the job okay so that's going to conclude the interview do you have any questions uh yeah what can i expect my first check so with this question always have questions always have questions because if you don't have any questions it kind of seems like you're not interested like you got any questions eh, not really and you know the questions can be real simple um what are the projects that you're working on right now that when i get hired i can jump right into it that can be a question um what is the biggest problem that you guys have that i could help solve as soon as i get hired you know just have some kind of question all right if you don't have anything it just doesn't look too good so like i said you can think about this you should be thinking about all this stuff anyway before you get interviewed but just make sure that you have some kind of question not you know not nothing where do babies come from just make sure there's something that correlates to the job all right so quick little tips right no matter what the position is always be on time no matter what always be on time but not too early don't be too early because if you like there like 30 45 minutes early it makes you look desperate and it kind of makes the uh interviewer feel rushed like ah oh, i told this guy at 10 o'clock and he's here you know at seven o'clock in the morning like, i guess i better uh interview them because it's pretty important uh, so just you know hang around even if you pull up to the job early just hang around 15 minutes early walk in another thing the receptionist re uh, secretary uh, office admin the person that works at the front always be nice to them always no matter what okay make sure that you're nice to them because the interviewer and the hr people or whoever are going to come back and ask them what you think about that guy? What do you think about that girl? And if you're not feeling them, then um, nine times out of ten, that person won't get the job. Um, another thing, smile. Smile, uh, look people in the eye, and just act normal. <laughs> just, you know, smile and be warm and um, inviting. Um, I would suggest no cologne, no perfume. The only reason I say that is because just because it smells good to you doesn't mean it smells good to everybody else. And some colognes are like overbearing where you can't breathe and just like, oh, and all you, you won't even be able to uh, listen to what somebody's saying. You'll only remember like, oh, man, this guy smell, you know, smell like Axe or smell like Old Spice or whatever. So I would either say something super, super light, one spray, you know, and um, go ahead and go to the interview or no, nothing at all. Nothing at all. All right, gang. So that was five common interview questions. A couple of tips about how to answer them. Now, my last question is actually a bonus question, and I'm going to pose it to you guys. I'm pretty sure this could help everybody I'm connected with. One of the most feared, uh, annoying, uh, hard to answer questions is so, what's your biggest weakness? So, um, I didn't give, I didn't actually answer this question on here because the answer that I give in interviews or used to give in interviews wouldn't really work for everybody, right? Because it depends on personality and how you are. So whenever that question is posed to me, I always say, well, my biggest weakness is answering the question, what is my biggest weakness? And usually, you know, the interviewer laughs and we just keep on going. But that, you know, if you kind of have a more serious personality or more, you know, just different type of personality, it might not work. So I'm going to pose that question to you guys. When you're asked, what's your biggest weakness? What do you actually say? What's worked for you in the past? Um, I know the generic stuff doesn't work. Uh, or, you know, just in interviews are trying to hear, I'm a perfectionist. I work too hard. Like, come on, man. Relax. Uh, so that's my question I pose to you guys. What um, is your biggest weakness and how do you answer that question without seeming, without really tearing down yourself or making yourself seem like you're more than what you actually are, right? So this is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com. Now other than that, I'll see you in class.